Hey artists, today we're gonna draw and paint this Easter scene. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a Sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paintbrushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for the style painting, especially the watercolor paper and the Sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our pencils and we're gonna draw this outline around our paper. I did not make mine perfect. I kind of purposely made it a little squiggly and imperfect. You, If you want it to be straight, you can go ahead and grab a ruler, but otherwise just kind of make a border around your paper like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start filling it in. All right, we're gonna start with the grass. So what I did is I started about here and I just kind of did my zigzags. They don't need to be anything particular. We're just kind of drawing some grass. And then we're gonna start on this big rock. So we have a big circle shape. Again, not a perfect circle. We don't actually want it to be perfect. It's a rock, so it's probably not gonna be perfectly round. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the door, which I drew kind of an oval type shape that just comes right down and connects. So the rock is a little bit over that door like that. And then we're gonna start about here and then swoop up and back down like that. And then we're gonna do this hill over here, up like that. And your hills might look a little bit different and that's totally fine. Even my mine looks different on this side than this side. All right, and then we're gonna take this hill and kind of go about here. We're gonna draw the three crosses on top. So rectangle shape, long and skinny rectangle shape with a rectangle shape through it like this. That one's gonna be the biggest one and then we're gonna do two smaller ones on either side like this. Okay, and we're gonna draw in the sun. So we want a kind of a rounded shape like this that connects. And then off of that line, we wanna draw some rays for the sunshine. So, oops, that's hard to draw with that paint in my way. So you want them kind of straight. Again, does not need to be perfect. But we're just gonna fill it in just like that. All right, and then for the bottom here, I added a couple flowers. That's totally up to you if you want to, but I just drew like four petals and then I drew a line down, line up and down for the leaves like that. And I did three of those. If you don't wanna add the flowers, you don't have to. I thought it would give it a little bit more color and make it look a little bit more like spring. Then I also added a couple in the grass. So these didn't have the leaves. Again, it's just four petals. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, just like that. Then you can also see I drew a couple little zigzaggy lines just to show that there's grass there. Okay, I think I have all my pencil marks in. So what I'm gonna do is grab my Sharpie. I'm gonna go over all of those pencil marks. When you're going over the marks with your um, Sharpie, you can leave these lines thin. And this hill here, you wanna be thinner. But then as you're moving closer, you want to make the lines thicker. So this line is a little bit thicker than this line, and this line is a little bit thicker than that line. That shows that this is closer and these are further away. So that's what we want to do when we're going over with our Sharpie. And then also this line here is going to be closer, so we want to make sure that it has a nice big thick line too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start, and then we will move on to our next step. Don't forget also to fill in the crosses with your marker. All right, I'm all done with my Sharpie, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and erase any pencil marks that I can still see. You can go ahead and do the same. All 
All right, I'm all done with my eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper towel and my paintbrush and we're gonna go ahead and start painting. I think what we will start with first is the sun. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some yellow paint and we're gonna fill in the sun with yellow, just like this. I'm adding a little bit darker color down here, but actually what we're gonna do is add some orange as well for this middle part of the sun. So I'm just adding the orange at the base of the sun right here, right along there. And then we're just gonna kind of blend it like that. All right, and then for the rays, you can see that I did a pattern, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do with the paint now. And I'm gonna take my yellow first and fill that in like that. And then I'm just gonna move on to the next ray and I'm gonna do that in a pattern until I'm done with the yellow. All right, now that I'm done with the yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and take my orange color and I'm gonna fill in the missing pieces here. All right, I'm done with my rays for the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on these hills. I used a light green for my hills. So I'm just gonna fill this in with some water first. I'm gonna start on this back hill first. We're actually gonna make this back hill a little bit lighter than the front hills. Just a tiny bit lighter, not super lighter. I'm gonna take this green and I'm gonna start along this line where it's gonna be the darkest. So right along here. And right in here will be darker. There's some shadow from these other two hills. All right, so I filled that in. I'm gonna go ahead and start dragging that up toward the top here. Need to grab some more water to help move it along. You can do that. So you can see it's the lightest at the very top. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and do this hill here. I'm doing the same thing and filling that in with water first. I'm gonna grab my green and I'm gonna go along this bottom line, which for this one will be the darkest point, right along here. Now for this one, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I am going to add more paint and I'm also gonna like pull it up more than I did with that other one. I even added a little bit more paint there I'm gonna add some darker right in here. With watercolor, you can just add layers. Sometimes it's better to let it dry between layers to make it darker, but in this case, it's fine to just add. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to take some yellow actually, and I'm gonna go over the tops of those hills with some yellow. And that makes it show that that sun is shining on those hills. And we're just gonna blend it in. A little bit of water like that. All right, and then we're gonna start on this part. So we need some brown. I'm just gonna get a little bit of brown here and I'm gonna start on the stone. You can go ahead and fill that with water if you want. It's like this. And then we want this side over here to be the darker side because you can see the sun's coming this way. I'm gonna 
a little drip of water there, so let's pick that up. And then also we can get a little darker here by the grass. So I'm just going to pull that along over there so that the whole rock is brown, but darkest on this side. Okay. All right, next we're going to do this part. We're going to fill that in with water. And try to avoid those flowers if you decided to add those. I'm just going to go around them lightly. And I'm going to take that brown. You want it to be the darkest right in here. So that rock is casting a shadow and over here as well. I'm going to fill that section in the whole way with darker paint. Like that. And I'm going to start kind of pulling this over. I'm going to add a little bit more darker down in here along the grass. Just try your best to avoid those flowers. It doesn't matter if you get it in the lines a little bit. You can see that I am and it's not a big deal at all. Totally fine. And then I'm just going to grab some more water and kind of move that paint together so that it's brown everywhere. Okay. All right, next we're going to do the inside, which we want it to be a nice dark color. So I'm going to grab this darker brown. I'm going to fill that in. If you don't have a darker brown, you can use the same brown, just use more of it. You could also make the inside black if you want. So you can see I'm focusing more on this side to make it darker. That's because this rock is here, so you want it to you have a little bit more dimension and shadow. So I'm just going to stop just like that, let that dry. Next, I'm going to work on the grass here, so I'm going to grab some light green and I'm going to fill in this grass. Again, we're going to try our best to avoid the flowers, but it's okay if it gets in there a little bit. You can just pick up some more green if you need to. I like to make it a little bit darker along these kind of wiggly lines. Just blending that in. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take my smaller brush to fill in the flowers. I made all my flowers orange. You can make your flowers whatever color you want. I think purple would be a nice color too. Maybe I'll even add some purple to the mine. Maybe I'll add like two orange ones and a couple purple ones or three orange ones and three purple ones. That's what I'll do. Three orange and then I will rinse my brush and grab some purple. Fill in with some purple. You can do pink flowers or yellow flowers, whatever color you want. Okay, I have my purple in there. So the last thing that I need is some darker green for the leaves. I just use a slightly darker green. You can even use the same green again. Maybe that's what I should do. And just make it a little darker. Like that. All right. And then I'm just going to spread this part out a little. I missed some there. 
and also I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow again like I did for the top of the hills. I'm just going to add it to the top of here and here. Again, we're just showing that the sun is shining and that it's hitting all of this stuff. Usually when there's a sunrise or a sunset, everything's kind of yellow colored. Like that. You can even add some to the grass if you want. Oops. Just like that. All right, I think that I'm done with my Easter scene. If you enjoy doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.